Talcott Parsons was an important sociologist from USA, who had contributed on the theory of social action, discussed about the action frame of reference and social system and lately on evolution. His contribution on what he calls it Agile, Paradigm and Pattern Variable Scheme are also well known. We shall discuss about them briefly. Talcott Parsons had the advantage of reviewing several scholars from classical sociology and some other social scientists as well. He believed that he could present an integrated theoretical point of view where all the formulations of previous social scientists would lead to. His theoretical constructions later integrated the points of view of psychologists like Sigmund Freud, economists like Alfred Marshall and sociologists like Vilfredo Pareto. Emil Durkheim and Max Weber to name a few. He also believed that all the contributions made by various social scientists lead in one direction to arrive at or rather converge at one single notion of what he calls its social action. Parsons also wanted to understand how social and cultural values are internalized into personality system. In his later work The Social System, Parsons said that the three essential components of action are personality system social system and cultural system, although each one being a part of action, but none being reducible to the other. In yet another work, Working Papers in the Theory of Action, Talcott Parsons along with his colleagues like Robert Bales and Edward Schills has explained about what he calls it the Agile paradigm. Accordingly, A refers to adaptation, G to goal, attainment, I to integration and L to latency. Thus Agile paradigm developed by Parsons provided him much higher respect as he ascended towards formulation of sociological theories at a much higher level. His another important theoretical formulation has been what he called it, the pattern variable scheme. It suggests that either an individual or community as an actor has important choices to make against two polar opposite categories. For example, whether an individual or community in general promote description or achievement, alternatively universalism or particularism. Talcott Parsons has referred to five sets of such alternative choices. Additionally, within these five sets of choices, some permutations and combinations could also be made out. For example, from the earlier referred choices mentioned here, it could be ascertained whether the choices made are for universalist achievement or alternatively particularistic ascription sort of orientations. A detailed discussion on these issues could be seen in his book The Social System, 1951. As stated earlier Talcott Parson has also written on medical profession and theories of evolutionism. In general, the theories of Parsons are also seen as his contribution to developing the theories of functionalism. But regarding the theories developed by him, Several scholars from the Western societies as well as from elsewhere have expressed the opinion that his formulations are difficult to understand and there is a need to present it all in the simpler form. There is another criticism which is associated with his work. It has been stated by several scholars that the works of Talcott Parsons are too much theoretical in nature, sometimes they appear as grand theories and generally have very little to do with the existing life of today or with the empirical reality. Agreeing with all such criticisms that it is true that Parsons' theoretical formulations might appear difficult to comprehend, might not refer to the empirical material but nonetheless, they could be considered as important contributions. In the views of the preset author, such theoretical formulations are required in sociology and the learners of sociology must attempt to comprehend such rigorous material. Talcott Parsons himself clarified that his works had remained concerned with the tasks of providing theoretical schemes only according theory and paradigm 36 to him then it remained the task of some other scholars sociologists to verify and test his theories. But in order for sociology to grow as a subject, it was necessary to strike a balance between theoretical formulations and factual informations. Another sociologist namely Robert K. Merton has tried to move exactly in that direction. Robert K. Merton firmly believed that the whole of functional theory could not be abandoned or discarded because some of the mistakes were committed by some of the contributors to it at the earlier stages. His approach was to learn from the mistakes, identify them, try to remove them and make functional theory as a viable approach for research investigations in sociology. Regarding social research he explained it as an interplay between theory and facts. Merton's views on social research could be found in his book, 
social theory and a social structure. His views on the functional theory could also be seen in the same book. While reconstructing functional theory, Merton has referred to three postulates 1. The postulate of functional unity of society. 2. The postulate of universal functionalism and 3. The postulate of indispensability. He later suggested that such postulates which once upon a time guided the works of some earlier sociologists were no longer necessary. Additionally, Merton has explained about what he calls it, middle-range theories, and its necessities in the contemporary period. Merton has also clarified in detail about what he calls it reference group theory. In this way we could see that in his own way, Robert K. Merton tried to build up the much required ground and created the environment for the development of sociology as a scientific discipline. From the above discussion it is now clear that both Talcott Parsons as well as Robert K. Merton made great efforts to carry forward the discipline of sociology and in this endeavor they were quite successful too.